All right, I'm going to work a couple quadratic formula problems here. Try as we may, we can't always make factoring work. All right, even the box method isn't foolproof. Um, you just have to, sometimes you have to use a quadratic formula. All right, so let's get just uh, dive into this. All right, the first thing I always do is identify my A, B's, and C's. It's just a good practice to get into to keep you from making mistakes. On this problem, x squared plus x minus 42. The a equals 1, the b equals 1, the c equals negative 42. All right. Now I'm going to set up my problem, set up my shell. All right. I always do this. It keeps from making mistakes. Everywhere there's a variable, I put parentheses. There's my b squared minus 4. There's an a there's a C, and I put it over top of 2, and another set of parentheses. All right, now it's as simple as just going back and filling in my parentheses. The B equals 1, all right? The, the A's equal 1, and the C equals minus 42. All right, let's bring this down. I do this in three quadrants. We've got the area in front. Of the plus minus, I've got the square root and I've got the denominator. All right, at the bottom, all right, so it's going to be negative one plus or minus the square root of one minus four times one, which is four, times negative 42, which is negative 168. So I've got minus a negative there over top of two. All right, let's bring this down, all right? Got minus one plus or minus, all right? One plus 168 is gonna be 169, all right? That is a perfect square. 13 times 13 is 169. So the square root of 169 is 13, all right? Now I've got this down to where I've got to solve two problems, all right? I've got to go negative 1 plus 13 divided by 2. The other way I have to do it is negative 1 minus 13 divided by 2. All right, negative 1 plus 13. That's going to give me 12 divided by 2 gives me a 6. So there's my first answer. One of my roots, one of my zeros is 6. Negative 1 minus 13. All right, that's going to give me negative 14 divided by 2. That's going to give me negative 7. That's my other root. So that's my answer for this question. All right, here's my second question. I would give it a try if I was you. My one... Um, my one tip is this isn't going to be a pretty number. This is going to be a decimal. You're not going to have perfect squares in this. All right. Hopefully you tried it and you're back now. All right. Let's dig into this one. First thing I'm going to do is my ABCs. On this one, A equals 1, B equals 12, C equals negative 9. All right. I'm going to set up my equation. I've got minus b. I'm going to set it up with a shell again. Times the square root, or plus or minus the square root. All right. Minus 4ac over 2. All right. Don't forget my a. All right. Now filling this in, I've got 12. Fill in my b's. All right, fill in my A's, and finally, my C. All right, now I'm ready to do some math on this. All right, I'm going to go down here to give us some room. I'm going to do this in three quadrants. The first one is going to be negative 12 plus or minus the square root of. All right, follow me on this. We've got 12 squared, which is 144, minus... 4 times 1 times negative 9, which is going to give us negative 36 over top of 2. 
All right, let's just look at the square root for a second. That 144 plus 36, because it's minus a minus, minus a negative, all right, that gives us 144 plus 36 is going to give us 180. So I'm just going to erase what's inside here and put 180. All right, 180 isn't a perfect square, all right? 180 um, doesn't end up a nice little number. There's not something times itself that equals 180. So you just have to put this, it's a positive number, so you can put this in a calculator. The square root of 180 you put in your calculator is 13.9. So I'm just going to erase to save space. I'm going to erase the square root of 180. And put in the 13.9. All right, I'm ready to do the math on this. All right. Okay, 12 plus 13.9 divided by 2 is going to give me a 0.95. All right. Now I'm going to do the lower half. 12 minus 13.9 divided by 2 is going to give me a negative 12.95. So that's my answers there. Positive 0.95, negative 12.95. I'm not sure if we'll have a problem like this on the test, but you need to be ready for it.